the New York City bagel, the most iconic treat of New York City. Today we're gonna to go to a selection of three different bagel shops in Lower Manhattan. Two of them that are my favorite, and then one other one that is the favorite of my guests, which you'll learn who he is today soon. Now, the New York City Bagel has also a very long history shrouded in mystery. So let's learn about what is the New York City Bagel. So what is a bagel? Well, the bagel apparently comes from the word bugle, which is a Yiddish word that stands for a ring. And the reason is because there's a huge hole in the middle. But the bagel is a very interesting type of bread because it is first boiled and then baked, which makes this nice hard exterior, but in the inside is soft and chewy. Look at that. So today we're gonna to try all these different types of bagels and learn about the nuance between the bagel that you might know all around America and the bagels that are more uniquely made near New York. For this bagel adventure through New York City, I'm joined by a fellow YouTuber, John Barr. You run Here Be Bar, and you cover all of New York City, local New York City tips. I really love your videos. Thank you. Because it's really down to earth, and I also love your uh, name for your community, the Barrio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your channel and um, your exper experience with bagels. Sure. Well, my channel's been around for about four years. I do travel, but New York City is my home. I cover New York a lot. I do travel tips, I do guides to neighborhoods, I do collaborations like this. I love doing food videos. And I grew up in northern New Jersey, and I'm gonna stand by this. I have never had a better bagel than in my hometown of Fairlawn, New Jersey. I've been all over New York City. I have yet to find a better bagel. Ooh. But I still love New York City bagels, don't get me wrong. Cue the dramatic music. So first spot we're going to is Murray's Bagels, which opened up in 1996. They're also a very, very popular spot here in New York City. You've been to Murray's before. I mean, I live about five to 10 minute walk from here. So Murray's is the most popular bagel spot in Greenwich Village, hands down. And I mean, you, you can't see it, due to the pandemic, but their lines are insane. Like I will, yeah. my big tip for them is if you're gonna go to Murray's on a Sunday, order, pick up in advance, you'll save yourself about 15 or 20 minutes. And we got ourselves the bacon, egg, and cheese. The bacon's not too visible. Yeah, I can't really see it. Did they forget the bacon? I was gonna say, they I don't- They forgot the bacon. <laughs> but anyways, uh, big egg and cheese, it's all one word, not three different words. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> here, at least here in New York City. Let's try it out. Mm. This is usually what I order from Murray's. I mean, it's tough to go wrong with the everything bagel. But the egg and cheese, like, they did a nice job, you know, sitting on the grill. You taste that. Bagel's solid. It's a good combination, though. I like the everything bagel with all of like the salt pepper and everything and you combine that with the egg it's a good bite it is it has a good bite and uh i love how it's like super thick the the bagel itself it's one of those bagels that you'll find all around america that are like extremely puffy i mean i, I think it's tough to go wrong with murray's for just like a, a solid village staple i've never had a bad experience ordering a bagel from them they, they know what they're doing they're busy for a reason and this is i mean this is just mm -hmm. evidence right here how it looks next stop we're going to a place where you'll find much more bagels different from the everything or sesame or poppy or crazy different flavors. Let's go <laughs> to Bagels on the Square. So where does the bagel come from? Well, it comes from the 1.5 million Polish Jews that came over here to America. They have been eating bagels at least since the 1300s, but maybe since the 9th century when they outlawed Jews from baking their own goods. Thus, they had to find a different way to bake. They first boiled their bread, and that's how they got the first version of the bagel. Cheers. Cheers. Here's Bagel in the Square. You know, 
how to do a toasted bagel so well. And I was telling Ariel, this spot was closed for almost a year, and I was so sad. Not that I didn't mind walking an extra five minutes to Murray's, I'm not that lazy. I just, I really miss their bagels, and I really feel like they're one of the most underrated bagel spots in New York City. Most people, honestly, have never heard of these guys. And as someone yeah. that lives in the village, I think these are super high quality. The outside is like very crunchy. It has like a nice yeah. crunch to it. More crunchier than the one in Murray's. Yeah. The Polish Jews who came here never had it with cream cheese. That's something that actually was invented here in 1871. A man by Lawrence who lived in Chester, New York, tried to make a French cheese, but he ended up making something that was cream cheese. Then later in the early 1900s, it was turned into Phil Philadelphia cream cheese, even though it was made in New York. Now, how did it get on the bagel? Well, for that, we have to learn on our next stop, <laughs> Russ and Daughters, in the appetizing store. So now we're taking the train down to the Lower East Side. Lower East Side? It's one of the coolest neighborhoods in New York City, in my opinion. What do you think about the Lower East Side? I love the Lower East Side. Mm -hmm. A lot of history, a lot of great food, a lot of good nightlife when it's available. It's a cool neighborhood for sure. Oh yeah, let's go. getting a bagel from one of the most famous bagel spots in all of New York City, Russ and Daughters. It started from a Polish immigrant that came here in 1907. And then in 1920, he opened up his first shop around the corner on Orchid Street. This place is especially famous because it's also an appetizing store, which is something very unique to American Jewish community. The appetizing store is different from a deli where they sell meat. However, according to Jewish culture, you can't combine meat and dairy on specific days. And thus we have the appetizing store which you add any type of dairy basically to a bagel. And here we're having some woks and some cream cheese. Let's go. We got ourselves, as I mentioned, this is an appetizing store so there's some great fresh woks and we got some scallion cream cheese on the everything bagel. Let's try it out. Let's do it. What I really love is that they are very generous with their locks. Oh yeah. 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 They are super generous and the locks is very nice and it has a very creamy texture. So there's some using some very great quality salmon, um, which sometimes you may not find in more of the um, corner store variety places. I have to say that I've ordered locks at many locations around New York and I have never had locks as fresh and as good yeah. as at Russ and Daughters. Mm -hmm. I mean immediately like, like that's what you go there for. The bagels, bagels are solid but I'm going there for locks. If I'm not ordering locks I'm not going to Russ and Daughters. That is absolutely their staple. It's the reason they have a long line. So fresh, just salty enough combined with a scallion cream cheese. It's something that's really specifically New York. I love it. If I were to pick one favorite this would be the place I would visit bar none. Especially if I want a full meal on the bagel. Uh, for you, where would you go? Tough question. If I had a first-timer visiting New York, I would do this right here for Russ and Daughters. For myself, I might just go to Bagels in the Square and get a sesame bagel with egg, cheese, or cream cheese, because honestly, I'm lazy, but if I was feeling inspired, I would do Russ and Daughters. I feel like they're the best. It's just a question of how ambitious I'm feeling. But for an out-of-towner, you got to try this. you got to exactly. try this. Exactly. John, thank you so much for joining me for this. Anytime. It was amazing. Uh, check out John's videos, Here Be Bar. You cover amazing, thank unique you. places in New York and very, very informational tips as well. Uh, watch more videos on Urbanist History of Cities. I cover history from all around the world and also a lot of food, including if you want another different New York City breakfast, see the avocado toast video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and always keep exploring.